Somebody needs to get Ole Gunnar Solskjaer a Viagra pill because he can't get past the semi, can he? United there, undone by Man City by two set pieces. A sloppy first one with John Stones. Fernandinho getting a... Tonight was an opportunity where United really could have continued. We, we were in such good form. The momentum was... The wind was in our sails. It was in cities as well after their recent resurgence. But tonight they're against City. Look... Drop in Eric Bailly. That was probably the biggest question going into the game with the starting eleven. Given how good his form had been, I probably say that Maguire and Lindelof played largely very good. I don't really think they were stretched too much, but defensively they made mistakes at the critical moments, and that's what you don't want your defenders to do. And United, every man in attack: Bruno Fernandez, Paul Pogba, Marcus Rashford, Anthony Martial. Wow, were they off their game tonight. They were sloppy. That team there was strong enough to beat City, I would argue. It was certainly strong enough to compete with City. It was only the two set pieces that we got undone by. And the first 15 minutes were frantic. Fernandez had a shot that was tipped over. Excellent save. Then we had the ball in the back of the net offside. Then City had the ball in the back of the net offside. Then De Bruyne hit the post. It was a hectic start. But as soon as that settled down, City had control of that game. And it exposed what I feel is United's biggest weakness. Uh, and that's our possession football. We're brilliant in moments. We're brilliant on the counter. But when it comes to actually playing a, a team saying, sit back and say, look, you can play against us. Do what you want. United are a bit limp at doing that. And we always have been. And that, that hasn't left. Bruno Fernandes, I think, had a really strange game tonight. I think I really had to question his decisions. Especially that the one that stands out for me is that towards the end of the first half when Rashford was through and he decided just to dink it first time with his right foot instead of taking a touch and he had time for the touch. Yeah. I love how quickly he makes us play, but sometimes he can and has the time to step it back a bit, but it, maybe it's not naturally his style. But that, as I said, tonight was the opportunity for Solskjaer to break that semi-final hoodoo. We didn't do it. And it was two set pieces and that, that stings. That really stings. The first one, who was at fault for it? Let me know what you think about that. People are going to shout for Maguire, but the ball should never have come through to Maguire. It should have been dealt with at that front post. We missed it. I don't know who missed it, whether it was Pogba. It just floated through. Maguire missed it. Jones slapped it in with his dick, basically. That was the first goal for City. Jones scored with his dick. And that was City 1-0 up. And You could argue they deserved it, but United had chances too. And I think... Uh, United were well complete. We were completely in the game at that point. But I don't really think Solskjaer did himself any favours with how he approached that second half. It was Scott McTominay who came off for Greenwood. But for me, that was a little bit too late. I think what we needed in that game was Donny van der Beek. I think what we needed in that game was somebody who actually wanted to receive the ball at his feet and was comfortable in possession because our midfield was moving it too quickly to our attack and our attack wasn't set and Rashford was off. As, as I said, everybody in our attack was off in that game. So playing it quick through to them wasn't really helping them. And it's such a shame. It really is because that would have been us in the final against Jose. It would have been Solskjaer one game away from his first piece of silverware and building on the momentum that we have got and we have sustained. But that's a dent. Because it was such a strong team, you, you, look, Henderson came out for De Gea, but Henderson made a couple of great saves and I don't think was at fault for either goal. I think Henderson had a very good game. Lindelof, I don't think, had a terrible game whatsoever. But a lot of people would say, look, those two goals from set pieces, would they have happened with Bayern in the team? Maybe, maybe, maybe they would. Maybe they wouldn't. That's just a question that we can ask now that maybe we didn't need to ask if Bayern was playing, but he started four games, first time in three, year, three years. I think he started three games in a row, so let alone four, let alone five. I probably would have started him, though, given that we played Watford at the weekend. Rest him for that one, not City in the League Cup. Strange decision. I disagree with it. Ultimately, it may have cost United tonight. But I think that team there was strong enough and good enough. And it, largely, we were, we were good. But finishing-wise, it was abysmal. And when Bruno Fernandes has a bad game, Manchester United have a bad game. And I think you can probably say the same thing about most teams around the world. If De Bruyne has a bad game, City will have a bad game. If Salah has a bad game, Liverpool are okay because they've got different players. But normally, normally if, you, if your talisman has a bad game, your whole team will be on a downer. And that's what happened tonight. And nobody really was able to step up and make the, the magic moment happen. And City, you know, Diaz was amazing in defence, clearly man of the match. 
But did we really threaten them that much? Were there really that many opportunities that United crafted and created? I don't think there were. I think that was a game where I think it will be fair to call United very limp, very poor. And after the nil-nil against City that we had in, I think it was in the league, well, early, earlier in December, I was expecting that game tonight to be fiery. And it was for the first 15 minutes. But as soon as City settled into their tempo, United couldn't really do much. Our defence didn't look that shaky. We looked OK. But it doesn't matter how good a football team is at any point. You can always be undone by set pieces. And that's what happened tonight. It was two shitty set pieces. The first one certainly more so than the second one. But you've got to be disappointed with that. You really, really have to. Because City was scared for large parts of that game. City sat back and invited United forward. And we were going at them. And we were looking quite dangerous. But up until that final moment. We didn't have that spark tonight. That shine. That magic sprinkling on top. And that ultimately undid us going forward, and that's why City were never really threatened. But the real mistakes came in defence. The real mistakes came from set pieces, and that is what cost United tonight. Poor defending from set pieces, and that's just sloppy defending. That's just bad concentration. And that goes down to the individuals. Who you want to say is at fault for it? I don't know, but as a team, defensively, we let ourselves down there. And we let ourselves down tonight, and that was an opportunity, as I said, to break the semi-final hoodoo, to get to the final in April. Perfect thing to look forward to. But we don't have it. But what United now need to make sure that doesn't do is take the wind out of our sails. We've got Watford in the FA Cup. We've got to try and go out there. But start Van der Beek. Give the poor lad some football. Jesus, he must be pissed off. Especially in a game like that, he's thinking, just, man, I could influence this game. Put me on, Ole. I think Ole's subs were wrong. I question whether dropping by was the right decision, given that we've got Watford coming up. But... Managers make their decisions and sometimes starting 11s work out and sometimes they don't. Let me know what you think about that in the comments below. But after the, the, the real chest pumping momentum that we've had in the last few weeks, it really feels like United are getting back to themselves. I think we let ourselves down there tonight. Not only with our sloppy defending, but every single attacker, poor. Up against City in the derby in a semi-final, you've got to be up for it. You've got to be certainly up for it. More up for it than they were tonight. And it's just a crying shame that... That it hasn't happened. But the reality is, on a positive note, I suppose, that was the League Cup. The FA Cup coming up next. The league is our focus. But we have to make sure, because if we lose to Watford with an inexplicably poor performance there, and you go out of two League Cup competitions, that is the wind gone from the sails. And that's reversed. So United cannot let that happen. Tonight was an opportunity that we did not take. Shit defending, that's what I would call it. Let me know what your reaction to that is in the comments below. But bring on the Watford game, I suppose. And we need to bury that game quickly. And largely the football, there was some good football, lots of good football. But in those crucial moments, we, I suppose we didn't have Bruno Fernandes doing it. When he had a bad game, so do United. Mm -hmm.